Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Ryan Makes Sense, where we talk about personal finance, investing, and chart analysis. Today, I'm going to be introducing you guys to another challenge of mine. I currently have two challenges, the Robinhood Investing Challenge, where I deposit $25 every Monday into my Robinhood account, and I purchase a stock that I like, or I add to a position that I already have, and with a goal to uh, get to 20% returns annually. The second challenge I have is my Roth IRA Millionaire Challenge, and that is essentially um, me being able to max out my Roth IRA each year and putting it into stocks like Microsoft, Apple, uh, Tesla, um, Palo Alto Network, uh, several other service now <clears throat> several other companies that have returned over 30 percent over the last 10 years um palo alto and uh gosh what's the other service now i don't know where they're at over the past 10 years but i know they are killing it um and i also have uh some other stocks in there that i purchased as well so my goal with that roth ira challenge is to be get to a millionaire my mill in my roth ira account switch all those funds to dividend paying accounts so when i'm eligible to take out my money in my roth ira those dividends are tax-free <clears throat> that income is tax-free sorry this third challenge also is a, a, an avenue to get me to seven figures this one i have been posting in my community often it is my m1 brokerage account so my goal with my m1 brokerage account is to literally just put twenty to thirty thousand dollars a year into that account. It's spread it's spread out across multiple different stocks. I'm always adding new stocks, updating positions. Um, for example, uh, when Dell spiked up twenty percent on September first, um, I sold for a 30, 35 ish percent gain, um, and then I sold out of my Dell position and had those funds distributed across other different positions. It's posted in my uh, YouTube community tab. So uh, my newest challenge again is my M1 Finance uh, brokerage. To It's gonna be a long-term challenge, but you've gotta think long-term. Uh, over the next 13 to 20 years, get that to over seven figures, putting in 20 to $30,000 a year, whatever I can afford, and um, getting between a 10 and 20% return. Um, the bulk of my M1 pie is, again, Apple, Microsoft, Tesla. Uh, we got some Google in there. We got Mercado Libre, which is a really like a 20, 30% return over the past uh, 10 years annually on average. Uh, we've got HCA Healthcare. We've got UNH. So many, we got Intuit, Cyber, Arc, <clears throat> um, a lot to name. So I'll take you on a tour through my M1 portfolio. We'll look at that and then I will show you how I anticipate to get to seven over seven figures in the next 12 to 20 years. Let's jump on in. All right, you guys, we are looking at my M1 finance account. I don't think I have any personal information showing, which is good. Uh, so right now I am at 21,000. My goal is to get this to 30,000. Uh, and we can see I'm down $900 here. I did, uh, take an L on ticker symbol IEP, uh, for around two or 3,000 earlier this year. And, um, I've been selling here and there with my gains to kind of offset. Um, a good rule of thumb is if you can, uh, get your gains to offset your losses to be zeroed out that's great um, but you also want to keep your losses to at least three three thousand a year because you can then write the three thousand off um each subsequent year so if i took a ten thousand dollar loss realize loss so if i purposely sold out to lose ten thousand on a stock which i would probably never do um I'd be at 10,000 loss and I can write off those losses at $3,000 each year so far. So for 2023, I could write off 3K, 2024, I could write off 3K, et cetera, et cetera. But in 2024 and later years, if I do have subsequent gains, they're going to cross out. So just, just talk to your tax person. 
Anyway, uh, this is my account. So I am essentially at 22,000 considering this loss. So I'm, my goal is to add $8,000 more here. Um, I don't know what I clicked. I'm just gonna go back to this screen. So um, I have two M1 brokerage pies. I have this one, which is an older one. Um, I did sell out of it. You can see right here, it was at 4,700 and then I sold out. Uh, but I wanna go to retirement two. This is where all of the action is. So, um, looking at the different time frames, it's a little their gain and return has never been really consistent. So, um, that's where I'm at. All um, down a thousand twenty nine. Which makes sense. So um, again, around twenty-two thousand dollars is where I see myself what I've contributed so far. So again, my goal is to add eight thousand dollars here. And so how this works for M1 Finance, and I'm gonna have to move my head one second. So over here on this right side, you can see me. Oh, you guys can't see it. Let me zoom out. Too far. All right, um, here we go, this works. All right, so let me move my head again. Uh, over here, you can see 10%. So I have my top three again, Tesla, Apple, Microsoft. If you've been watching my videos, um, these stocks have returned 30% year over year over the last 10 years on average. So these are my top players. Um, Microsoft is, down which is great um, I definitely need to purchase more um, and then as we go down um, we can see again Mercado Libre it's about it's three percent of my overall portfolio but again these I'm always adjusting my uh, allocations so a lot of these are well over the percentages and the newer one the newer stocks that I just added are under the allocation and I'll show you what I mean so um, Mercado Libre I'm up 19%. Um, we're going to ignore the percentages that I'm up. I'm just going to look at the allocations. So all these actual targets should equal up to 100%. Um, so these being 30%, that gives me 60%. Excuse me. <laughs> Keep burping. So all these other stocks should equal 60%. So we have Mercado Libre, great stock, Pan W, which is Palo Alto Networks, Intuit, Google, Jacobs, CyberArk, ServiceNow, Salesforce, HCA Healthcare, Broadcom, and Boeing, all over $1,000, which is great. And Dell was over $1,000, but I did, I took my 35% gains there and I uh, distributed. Then I have Lear Corp, PAGS, Play Studios. 259. I have uh, Papa John's, C Limited, the Singapore company, Walmart. I need to add more to Walmart, honestly. I need to add more to all, a lot of these. So, uh, UNH, Win, Boyd Gaming, Costco, Vizio Holdings. Boyd Gaming is up 32%. I need to, uh, don't really want to trim. <laughs> um, Golden Entertainment and Hawaiian Electric. Um, I bought Hawaiian Electric when it was down to, uh, I think, $12. Let's see. I don't know. Yeah, $12.41. It's up to $15. Um, I might flip this out for, let's see. Let's just look at Hawaiian Electric really quick. Let me just change some things here um so yeah it's uh it ba it's bounced from the bottom uh it's very undervalued currently but there is a bunch of lawsuits going on um i'm i'm not sure Who's at fault? But let's see what insight institutions are doing. Uh, institutions own fifty nine percent. This is new data. 
Um, old data shows it was 58%. So institutions have been buying the stock actually by as much as a percent. So 58.1 is old data, 59.6 is new data. So about 1.5% increase there. So institutions are buying here. And if we look at the monthly chart, um, yeah, it's it's well below the 365 day SMA, which is this blue line here. Um, I, I'm, I don't know, I, I just, I might have to flip this out. Um, Wells Fargo gave it an $8 price target. Wow. Uh, anyway, I digress. Um, so this is my uh, M1 Finance portfolio. I apologize for getting sidetracked. <clears throat> if you have any questions on this, let me know. And I've always I've been posting when I've been buying or selling inside of this on my YouTube community page. Um, so let me show you guys how it's going to get me to seven figures over the next 12 to 20 years. So uh, you guys can still see my screen pretty well. Let me adjust it now. All right, and I'll move my head again. Perfect. Okay, so over here I have my starting principle of 30,000. Again, I'm going to add 8,000 more dollars over the next four months, I believe. Um, if this changes, I will definitely keep you guys posted. But um, starting out with 30,000, and I'm going to be putting in 20 to 30,000 dollars every year after. I'll just put 25,000 right now just to be average. And if I get 9% returns every year, that is my conservative price target. I should get to $1 million in 18 years. So right now I will be 33 this year. This is 2023 and this is going to go all the way to 2041 right here. So that's if I get 9% returns every year for the next 18 years. Now, if I get 20%, which I'm thinking is a little bit more accurate, I should get to seven figures in 12 years, uh, which would be 20, 45, 35, 20, 35. So, um, yeah, that is my goal on how I can get there. Um, if I am able to add $30,000 a year, an extra 5,000 a year, um, my 12 years is still at 12 years. So it's not a huge difference. Um, it's the power of compounding that makes the difference. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's, this is my new challenge. It's going to be, I don't know what to call it yet. Um, my seven figure challenge. I don't know. I already have my Roth IRA challenge. And I have my Robin Hood challenge. Um, so I'll think of something. But anyway, uh, this is my M1 portfolio. If you guys made it this far, consider subscribing. If you are a current subscriber, I thank you so much. I'm very excited. Uh, you've joined my channel. Every time I see I get a new subscriber, it makes me happy that I you know, could be educating somebody. So uh, with that, I hope you guys are doing well. Thank you so much. And um, I will be sure to share my pie in my YouTube video so that you can see the current holdings as of when that video is published. Again, I'm considering it selling my Hawaiian electric stock so that by the time this video is published, you'll have that link that will show the Hawaiian stock. So um, yes, post a comment if you would like the updated uh, pie because I'm sure it'll be different. Anyway, thank you so much. I hope you're doing well. Have a great day.